Now for our story. It was after supper time. Aunt Mary and Lefty had come out to sit on the porch for a while. The evenings were beginning to get a little nippy. The smell of fall was in the air, but neither of them could quite give up the pleasure of sitting outside, watching the darkness grow in the quiet fields, waiting for the first pale glow of the moon rising in the sky. The light from within the house shone out faintly, revealing Aunt Mary's face, peaceful in repose. Tonight she'd pulled Randy's old football sweater over her head, with the collar turned up and back to protect the back of her neck from the chilly evening breeze. Lefty glances at her and chuckles. <laughs> well, Aunt Mary, you're looking quite collegiate tonight. Collegiate? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean because I'm wearing Randy's sweater? But it's so nice and warm. Better not get too attached to it, though. Randy will be coming home pretty soon to claim it. <laughs> yes, he will. I'm so happy. I know. You're right about this sweater. That boy simply swears by it. Remember when I bought him that lovely suede lumber jacket for his birthday? <laughs> he used to provoke me so. He'd leave it hanging in his closet, insisted on wearing this old sweater, even when he was going into town. <laughs> Reminds me of an old hat I had once. I used to call it my fishing hat. Somehow no other hat ever felt so comfortable on my head. <laughs> well, listen to that, will you? Fella must be feeling extra chipper tonight. It's funny, they can put a lot of feeling into blowing that train whistle. Oh, Lefty. No, really, there's quite an art to it. They talk back and forth, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess you'd hardly call it a private conversation. <laughs> engine, engine number nine. How do you know it's number nine, Lefty? I don't. That's a little verse I used to hear Peggy recite when she was a youngster. Engine, engine number nine, traveling on Chicago line. Please tell me the correct time. <laughs> <laughs> what a memory you have, Lefty. That is, for anything which concerns Peggy. Oh. Say, where is that young lady, by the way? I thought she and Nicholas were coming back for a piece of the apple pie nobody had room for at dinner. Oh, they'll be along eventually. You didn't expect them to come rushing back from Jane's. Just to sit around and talk to a couple of oldsters like you and me, did you? I don't know why not. We're not exactly decrepit, Aunt Mary. No, perhaps not. But you know how young people are, Lefty. They get so engrossed in whatever they're doing at the moment. They forget. Well, then why don't you go call them up? Remind them. Oh, I don't think so. Well, I, I do wish they'd come on back. You know, Lefty, usually you're quite ready to call it a day after supper time. But I notice whenever Nicholas dawns around, you can always find some excuse to stay up. Well, maybe so. It does me so much good to see Peggy and Nicholas together, though. They always seem to have such a lot of fun, the way young people should. Yes, they do. It's a good sign when you hear people laughing together. Yeah. A big difference from the way it was with that Bill Mead. All the hullabaloo problems. I saw Bill today. You did? Uh, I was over mending the fence in the south field. He went by on a jeep his way to town. Oh. I was kind of surprised that he stopped. I didn't feel much like talking to him. You did, though, I hope. Yeah, I did. Even though I'd preferred to have punched him in the nose. Lefty, you mustn't talk that way. Oh, don't get excited, Aunt Mary. But I can dream, can't I? <laughs> what did Bill have to say? Oh, uh, Nothing. He asked how I was. Says he expects to be back in civilian life any day now. Really? Oh, well, that's interesting. I wonder what he'll do. You know very well what he'll do, Aunt Mary. Land some soft, plushy job with the Calvert clan. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be too sure of that if I were you. Well, let's not get into that argument again. We just never see eye to eye when it comes to Bill Mead. Let's talk about something pleasant. Like Peggy and Nicholas, for instance. Matter of fact... I have something to tell you about that situation. I haven't had a chance to before. Really? Anything new? I told you I saw Nicholas in town. The day you went to the dentist? Mm-hmm. Ran into him on the stairs as I went up to my appointment. He came and sat with me for a while. Well? One thing I've always liked about Nicholas. He's honest and frank. Comes right out with things. You bet he does. No shilly-shallying about Nick. He's been thinking of, um, 
buying that property over on Kenmore Hill Road. Yeah, I, I know all about that. I went over and looked at the place with him one day. Really? Did he uh, talk to you at all about his plan? Well, we talked about improvements on the place. I gave him a few suggestions. I mean, uh, anything personal? No. Except he always gives me a song and dance about you, Aunt Mary. <laughs> he certainly sold on you. Wow. Glad he likes me. But the point is, Lefty, Nicholas isn't planning to live in that house alone. He wants to get married. What? Did he say so in, in, in so many words? Yes. He, he talked to me quite frankly about his feelings toward Peggy. He thinks they could be very happy living there in that little place. Well, that doesn't surprise me one bit, Aunt Mary. I've had an idea all along that that was in the back of his mind. Yes, I, I know you have. Things he said sometimes. But you would have been proud of me, honestly, you would. I've never prompted him. Not once. Well, I should hope not. Well, what do you know? He's really made up his mind. Hmm. Do you think he, he said anything to Peggy yet? He may not have said anything directly. But I'm certain Peggy understands pretty well how Nicholas feels. She told me as much. Well, now, there you are. That's what I like about that young man. Coming to you about it, talking it over. But what he told me, Lefty, didn't make me very happy. No? Well, how come? Well, you know what his attitude toward marriage has been. He's so afraid of the emotional side of it. Believes people would be happier if they based marriage on companionship and respect. Left out all the sentimental side of things. He's so distrustful of love. Oh, I wouldn't worry about all that stuff Nicholas spouts. He's just covering up because he's afraid of being hurt again. The way that girl in Hollywood hurt him. I think he is in love with Peggy, but just doesn't know it. Or anyway, doesn't want to admit it, even to himself. I don't know, Lefty. I'm not so sure. Why, it's as plain as anything. The way he acts around Peggy. The fact that he stayed on here even though the job was finished on that documentary film he was writing. You wait and see. It'll all work out. I wish I could agree with you. Somehow, I don't think it's real. At least, uh, not mutual. There's Peggy's side to think of, too, remember. Well, I'll give it a little more time. I think, for that matter, that what I've said about Nicholas is true about Peggy. She's been hurt, too, you know. And she's wary of her feelings just as much as he is. That may be. But just because you want things a certain way... It's better not to convince yourself they are that way. People don't always do things the way you expect them to, or the way you think they should. No, of course not, but... Well, this time I have a sort of a hunch. Well, in any case, I asked Nicholas to let the matter drop, not to press it at all for the time being. Well, Aunt Mary, I, I don't see why you did that. Why not let the two of them work it out their own way? But it's not my affair. Peggy's your responsibility. Now, Lefty, you should know better than to talk that way. You're every bit as much a part of this family as if... Well, as if you were a real relation. Well, I... I wish you hadn't told Nicholas not to say anything. If he is in love with Peggy, he... That's just it, Lefty. As I told you, I'm not at all sure he is. But if he is, there's no harm in their waiting until they're both sure of it. You know very well the other sort of marriage. The sort Nicholas keeps talking about could only lead to unhappiness for both of them. You can't deny the importance of true emotions. The real deep love two people should have for each other if they're going to share a life together. That's why I'm sure my suggestion was the right one. And I'm sure Nicholas will abide by it. Very important that he does. Otherwise. Otherwise what? Otherwise, Lefty, in her present state of mind, I'm terribly afraid Peggy might rush headlong into something she'd bitterly regret. But what Aunt Mary doesn't know is that Nicholas never had an opportunity to carry out his good resolution after he talked to her in town that day. 
No. And now the two young people have made an agreement. One they've agreed to keep secret for a while. 